In this image, we see a sag vertical curve. That's a negative grade followed by a positive grade. When we're thinking about sag vertical curves and the sight distance that's required, we're thinking about nighttime conditions and specifically how far in front of our vehicle our head, headlights will illuminate. Specifically, what we're looking at and, and thinking about and considering is a one degree deflection upward from the line of headlight that would extend directly straight from the vehicle. So this is what, what you will see illuminated on the pavement. What I really want to show is a video. So this next video clip that's going to come up is going to show driving through a sag vertical curve. And so what I want you to look for is how far in front of the vehicle is illuminated to see where, how far in front of you, you can see that it's illuminated by your headlights. That's extremely important. Again, nighttime conditions, we're looking at sight distance, we're looking at how far in front we can see to safely avoid some hazard or obstacle.